Hey guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time, we went and fought the two monsters that were supposed to fight, the crab and the thing that looks like a robot, um, I forgot what it's called, Killing Machine I think it is from Dragon Quest, and then we defeated another one of those knights, magic, magical knights. I had his very thundering today <laughs> Jesus all right well um dang it my train of thought just went off I know <laughs> I know Olivier Olivier um and we went into the geo front and we also saw Yuna's past but without further ado let's actually you know do stuff there's a lot of things to do, so let's probably get those out of the way before camp. Let's see if I can find them. I feel a presence. <laughs> this isn't no good. Who are you? The Governor General's guard is stronger than we thought. This may be a code 308. We need to call it into headquarters right away. Um. Huh? Did anyone hear that? That's strange. I thought I locked all doors. And some. What the? Th that was. A burglar, perhaps? Maybe. But something is really off here, especially how they ran straight for the hidden passage. Your Highness, can we spare time? Of course. We simply can't leave them to their own devices. Let's go after them. Sheesh. Seems like we're heading into trouble. We had the others split up to search the huge geo front, but they could not find the man who fled. Jesus Christ, what? What is this? I can't believe we lost him. I sense a presence, but considering how agile he was, he can't be a normal person. But that being said, I don't think he's affiliated with the society. Yeah, there is no reason for a Jaeger corpse to be in Crossbell right now either. If anything, it seems like they're trying to avoid being seen. So, not the society and not a Jaeger, yet they're skilled enough to run from us. Your Highness, could it be? I know tensions are running high along the border, but... Agents from the Republic. Have they infiltrated their way into Crossbell? <laughs> well, uh, wild speculations are just that, you know. But if it's true, we can't handle this on our, this matter on our own. I see. We can't ignore the society either. Well, we can't chase them both down. We'll just have to lead one group to the others, right? Yeah, as you said, it's only speculation for now. Either way, we'd better let the army know. Ah, be sure don't tell them about moi. A gentleman must keep his air of mystery, no? Uh, yeah. Well, there goes the serious mood we build up. <clears throat> In any event, this doesn't bode well. Let's finish up here and head to Stargazer's Tower. Yeah. Let's actually do that, but let's actually hmm? <laughs> well then. Oh! Character note. There we go. Perfect. Where did Kenneth go? This quick travel thing is sure is easy. Wait, what the heck? Who are you? Who are you? Okay. Sh 
no, well, we get Heartless Edgar 5 like this. And a character note. All right. Oh, fast travel, I love you. Let's go back and keep exploring this. Like that. Oh, here. Sir, you'll be returning at 2 p.m., is that correct? Yes, I'll be back in time for the meeting at 3 p.m. Father. Machius voice, I'm sorry, you keep changing a little bit. Oh, Machius, the rest of you are here too, I see. So, it seems you decided to work with Reen. Yes, it's my belief that this doesn't go against my duties as an inspector. Like I said last night, this is the path I've chosen. Very well, then I expect you to walk it through the end. Though, I think going to a political school might have been easier the easier route for you. Says the man who graduated from a political school, only to end up surrounded by nobles at City Hall. <laughs> too true, too true. <laughs> Do you have a meeting soon, sir? Ah, yes, I plan on meeting with Speaker McDowell at Michelin. Ah, sir. I don't know if anything will come of it, but I wanted to hear his opinion on the 8th Metropolis plan. Let's search. Let's each of us fight hard for what we believe in. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> As a humble servant of the Imperial family, I feel I should say something. It's my hope that a certain nameless wandering minister will stay safe. Haha, <laughs> I've received your message loud and clear. Do give my speaker my regards. Huh? A cat? It's the same one that was on the special support section's roof. What is it doing here? My, what a curious little fellow. Hmm? I think we're in the middle of something, but... Celine, can you talk to it? Uh, you better appreciate this. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. So, did you learn anything? Hmm. It's looking for a girl. A human girl, actually. Whoa, it seems like this is getting pretty intense. Did something happen to the girl? She's trying to go to Michelin on the other side of the lake. Someone she knows is being held there and she wants to save them. Th that's the birdcage. Hmm. Cillian, can you try to get more information? <sighs> Fine. So this Mimi girl tried to go? <clears throat> so this... Oh, uh, whoops, my bad, that's not Cillian. So this Mimi girl tried to go to Michelin in order to save someone from being captured. And according to Cop, she was... She says she was going by bus. Hmm, but there's no buses. I know that I... That can take you from Crossbelt City to Michelin. I think the only way is by cruise ship and the railway from the medical college. And you couldn't catch a whiff of her scent on the pier, right? Yes, that's why cops worried. Hmm, judging from what I heard, the situation isn't too extreme. Yes, it would be nice if we could help, but we need to get to Stargazer's Tower. We should let Reen decide. Let's see. If you accept this quest, you will not be able to go to Ursula Road for some time. Oh. Oh, all right, let's help, all right. Let's help, besides, it's related to the birdcage. I see, I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> of course, you'll get no objections from us. Celine, can you tell Cop the good news? Cope? Yeah, yeah, you softies. With Celine acting as an interpreter, they consulted with Cop. 
In order to track down Mimi, they decided to check all of the bus stops in the area. We should be able to eliminate the northern bus stops since this is the complete opposite direction. Let's check the eastern, western, and southern bus stops. Well, we'll have to visit them one by one. Alright cop, please follow us. We'll find Mimi for you as soon as we can. Meow. Wait, you just talked directly to cop. <laughs> Where's my meowster? Oh, that's funny. There's another event here, or is this another hidden quest? These are some hidden quests, not very hidden, per se. Ah! Oh. Well, look who showed up. I'm um, sorry about what happened last night, Sharon. She did what she did off her own free will. There's no need to apologize to me. The one, sa the one saving grace is that we got her to a good doctor quickly. Though I had to cancel one inspection today due to her absence. I see. Well, I imagine it's tough now if Sharon was taking care of things before. Yes, I admit. I admit it. None of us can possibly match Miss Kruger when it comes to this. But we'll do everything we can to stand in for her until she's better. Thank you very much. Also, the way you carefully avoided telling us where you're going for your inspections was impressive, as always. Alyssa. Out of curiosity, what spots will you be inspecting? I hesitate telling someone in your particular position, but... Tangram Gate, where the railway cannons are being deployed, and a, mili and a military factory being built on the western side of Crossbell. Mm. <laughs> oh, how predictable. And lastly, I'll be visiting Sa <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! St. Ursula's Hospital. I'm going to speak with per a certain with certain people about ways to improve medical technology in the Empire. Mother! My, my, you certainly threw our expectations for a loop. Understood. Hopefully you find time to visit her sometime during your inspections. <laughs> they don't know who, what they're talking about. Well, she certainly is something. But I agree that improving our medical technology is important. <sighs> this whole thing is so like her. If she only focused on making money, I would have already given up on her. Well, someone seems a little pouty. Yeah, I'm sure she just has a way of just dealing with things. Indeed, as do we. We should focus on the task at hand now. It will be time for much for such conversations later. Right. Well, let's go out and continue this side quest. There should be a bus stop up ahead where we can find, we can get on the West Highway. My mother was building a military factory out there. Hmm, let's go check it out. Rain left through the west gate and checked out the bus stop, but... Yeah. It doesn't seem like Mimi came to this bus stop. Well, now we know. Let's go somewhere else. Let's check out the eastern and southern bus stops. That's the bus stop for the southern route. There's a medical college named after St. Ursula down there, right? The bus is here right now, so let's go check it out. Reed and company asked around the bus stop for the southern gate. Meow. Hmm, it doesn't seem like Mimi came through here. Yeah, we should check another bus stop. The only one left is east gate. The bridge up ahead has a bus stop that goes to the east highway. To our Tangram gate, where the new model of railway cannons were being taken. Yeah, let's go investigate. Ow. Ow. This might sound stupid, but do cats have an amazing sense of smell? That does sound stupid. 
We're not like dogs, but we certainly have a better sense of smell than any human. Cats average around a few hundred thousand times better, but dogs are well over a million times more sensitive than humans. I can't even comprehend that. I'm just some dumb blonde. Well, I'm not blonde anymore, but, you know, I still am a blonde. I was crossing my fingers for a real lead. Bingo! I wonder if that missing bus is headed toward Tangram Gate. It's between that and our our Marika village to the northeast. If we look at the bus timetable and it's close enough, we could chase it down on our bikes. <sighs> it's already gone. We can't make contact. If only the support section was here. We're here. Who does he mean? He looks like a clerk from somewhere. I think I've seen him at Orca's Tower. Well, in that case... Excuse me, but is something wrong? I'm Abel from the Governor General's Office Transportation Division. From what I've been told, a bus that left an hour ago for our Marika village hasn't reached its destination yet. Oh no. That's worrisome. The village is only 30 minute drive from here, so something's off. But the military police have their hands full guarding the inspection team. I thought I'd go ask the Bracer Guild, but they're closed. Yep, let's do it. We all not in agreement. Then why don't we look into it? Reen told the man who he was and that they were looking for a girl. I can't believe it. You're famous. Oh, great. And you're with an inspector. We're currently... <clears throat> We're currently working as a team due to some peculiar circumstances. That said, we have a means of transport and would be happy to check on the bus. R really? That would be amazing. Do you know if the lost girl is on the same bus? I'm sure her parents must be worried sick. What's her name? Her name is Mimi and she lives along Central Square. Huh? W wait a minute. It can't be. That's his daughter, right? It's that cat that's always with my daughter. It is? Are you Mimi's father then? The girl is about eight years old and has pink brown hair. There's no doubt in my mind. That is my daughter. Yep, we have to go save her. We'll find the bus right away, sir. We just need you to stay here and remain calm. Uh, understood. I leave it all to you. Alright, let's go full throttle. Please drive safe. Alright, let's go. Where? Oh, boy. Where are they? Oh, they're not even here. Found you. Let's go. Oh, God. Look, over there. Just as I thought. Yeesh! Adios, please. We won't let you hurt them. That's close enough. Uh, are you here to save us? Huh? Cope? <coughs> Let's not waste any more time. To arms! To arms. Jeez, I'm just... It seems this will be quite the struggle. Screwing everyone's voice. Well... I want to see you. I shall prepare a glittering stage. Huh? Gather above me, great Septian power! And Olive, yeah. A Cassic star! Woo! Did you enjoy the show? Yeah, Olivier was the one who made the thunder happen. Yes. There. And not down. Rapid bites. That's cute. That's what you get. All right. Nice work. I wanted to go and touch, but okay. I wanted to, you know. Cope. 
What are you doing here? Ow, ow. Who knew a cat could cause such a commotion? I'm just happy we could bring them back together. And that both the bus and its passengers are safe. It's all thanks to ADO's guidance. Thank you, but just who are you? We're... After a thorough explanation, Reen called the military police and had security vehicle charted directly to them. They first saw off citizens heading towards our Ar Armarica village. Armarica village? Before returning to Crossbell's East Gate with Mimi. Ooh, that's a relief. Mimi's safe. But why did you do this, Mimi? Because you told me Lloyd was in Michelin. I wanted to help them. I, I see. So you knew what happened last night on the rooftop, huh? Uh, yes, it's been the talk of mom and the staff. My daughter was close with everyone in the special support section. And this morning I let it slip by accident. I see. Well, I'm glad she's okay. Regardless, you should see fit to clear everything up with her. Yeah, you're, you're right. Now, let's get moving. Let me give you a nice big fish to show my gratitude. Wow. Cope said, then let's get going. I'm hungry too. <laughs> then why don't we stop by the restaurant on E Street? Thank you for taking care of the bus and my daughter. I don't know how to say this, but you gave me a different impression of the people of Erebonia now. Ah, thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Oh, she's so adorable. Meow. Meow. Oh, that's so cute. I'm glad we were able to help them. Yeah, it'd be good if we can continue helping others like this, little by little. It won't be necessary, but I'm starting to believe. Yes, we just need to hang in there and treat each other with compassion. <laughs> That's right. It's lovely to see Class 7 at work again. Alright, let's return to this task at hand, to Stargazer's Tower. Right. For goodness sakes. Where's my Meowster? Completed! Prankster! Leaves then. So, our plan is to head back to camp and then it's off to Stargazer's Tower. Shall we get going? Yes. I've gone everywhere I can. Yeah, let's go. Our rides are at the south gate. Please follow me. Very well. Lead the way, my good man. Ah, horrible bikes. I presume these have been mass-produced by RF? Yeah, they were just released this spring. If we remove the sidecars, they'll be much more maneuverable. Uh, I don't want to steal Elliot's spotlight, but they'll be perfect for a little musical tour of sorts. And they would be even more exquisite with a lovely beauty in the sidecar. Mm, perhaps I'll invite Shara once everything's been cleared up. Ah, from Trails in the Sky. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, how am I supposed to plan around something like this? Huh? Lecter? Yep, Lecter. Major Lecter. Oh, it's you. Come on, Schwarzer. I know you usually get some unconventional help with your government request, but I don't know about this one. Uh, I suppose I understand where you're coming from. But even so, I'd like his help. Reen. Hmm, I'd rather not hear such objections from the most unconventional member of your little club. I heard that the debaucherous Prince Oliver has rented out Michelin Wonderland all to himself today. Perhaps you should head there yourself and frolic with him and Mishy? Heh, <laughs> I'll pass. I'm pretty busy myself, so I'll let you be. Stay safe out there. Alright, Lecter. I don't know what voice I keep giving you, but... You're getting a voice. Schwarzer, word of advice, watch out for the wings on that purple Aeon. If it's like the one before, it can fire a flurry of tracking beams. But with your Ashen Knight, you might be able to do something about it. Ugh. You? 
Bye bye. Oh. Since I had this chance, I'd like you to relay a message to the Chancellor and Rufus for me. Though my wings have been stolen and my blade lost, I yet have the gun and the rose kept safely in my heart. If you lose your way and take this nation in a poor direction with you, Ooh, yeah. I shall send you another message. Ooh, I remember that. Your Highness. Message received, Your Highness. I remember that. <laughs> With that concluded, let us away to the field exercise camp. Okay. Yes. No oh, ramp. Okay, that works. Everybody's gonna flip by seeing the prince here. <sighs> is there any chance of you reconsidering, your highness? No, no. My name is Olivia, the hunter of love. Do try to remember it. I've more or less done right by the intelligence division, so don't even worry your little head over such trifling matter. <laughs> Man, you really haven't changed at all, your highness. Haha, <laughs> oh, I simply cannot trade, cannot believe the trade conference was two long years ago. Seeing your faces again, I think it was only yesterday. Oh, but as for dear sweet Tita, it's been four years since you and this humble bard last met, hasn't it? Simply too long. Yeah, I agree. You, Estelle, Yashua, Agate, Shara. It really seems like no time has passed since we all stormed that flying city together, huh? We mustn't forget Princess Claudia and Zin were with us too. Ah, but what a confection could match the sweetness of fond memories with dear friend. D that seems like quite the story. Yeah, but we'll have to save it for another time. Let's head to Stargazer's Tower. How are you and the others doing? Still pretty bad, but I know they'll get through it. If you guys are going to move out, all of us here at Branch Campus will back you up. Isn't that right, Mayor? <clears throat> I have no objections. We were able to secure a track route leading in, so that, so there should be no issue preparing that, correct? Yes, thank you. And thank you too, Tita. Of course, we're all set. For someone like me who was in a single place growing up, Crossbell's the only place that's ever felt, really felt like home. It's so frustrating that I can't be the first one to run and help. But them losing their freedom makes me feel like I'm gonna go crazy, Randy. Mm. But I'm lucky that I'm part of Branch Campus, because I can still help out in some way small. I'll back you guys up with everything I can. Reen, your highness, and everyone else, please save my home. Of course! Hmm. Your home will be safe in our capable hands. Prince, I, I don't know. You kinda. Eesh. Aw, oh, Uni! I've wanted to thank him this whole time. Then why didn't you? But. I couldn't. Why? Because he's from Erebonia? I couldn't do anything to save my family. I felt so powerless, and I ended up pinning my frustration on him. Oh. And that's what led to this. I see. I understand now. Yuna, you just want Instructor Reen to acknowledge you. <laughs> Aww. I think I'm the same. When I accompanied him on his missions, I was tasked with monitoring and supporting him, but he treated me like a child, kept risking himself to protect me, and took on all the burdens himself. I felt so useless. Aww, I'm no Ellie. different. All I've wanted is for him to recognize my sword skills. 
I know I still have far to go, but I feel like what happened in Sutherland helped me grow at least a little. Yuna, I believe this is your opportunity to grow. Yes. Huh? Instructor Reen left you a message. I'll play it now. Ah. Uh -huh. Let's see. What was it? Yuna, the members of the special support section are without a doubt heroes. I can't help but think each one of them are truly great people. Him included. Aw. Reen. But are you okay with simply looking up to them forever? Right now, they're trapped, able to protect their home. So who's going to be the one to protect Crossbell in their absence? Yeah, Yuna, rise up to the occasion. You got this, girl. Are our preparations complete? Yes. Now we make for Stargazer's Tower. Now we're up. Who we're up against, we'd better be ready for them. You're right. I believe in you guys. Kurt, Altina, and Yuna. Aww. Oh. Interesting. Oh? <laughs> Why, if it isn't the traveling bar, come to visit our camp. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wait, does she recognize him? No, I think so. Oh, it's you. I've heard so much about you from my sister. You're not even going to put up a facade. The pleasure is all mine. I am the wandering bard known as Avi Olivier Linehaim. Linheim. I believe you go by Musée Egret, was it? <laughs> Precisely. So long as you remember my name, I'll be sure to remember yours as well, Olivier. Hmm? Yeah, certainly, but I must admit, I'm impressed. Perhaps we speak, we might speak again on another occasion. We could even make it a special lesson taught by the one and only love seeker. Seeker of love. I'm mixing everything. That sounds delightful. If Instructor Reen's the one giving the lesson, I'd love to attend. No, that's not. It's shot down like always. Reen, who is this girl exactly? She seems rather fond of you. Well, I'm not her homeroom teacher, so I don't know much about her. But she's one of Elise's friend from Aunt St. Austria. St. Australia. Oh, interesting. There's no way that's the whole story. Well, that is the whole story. What? Jeez, come on, guys. Huh? Wait, it's you. Uh, so he noticed. Well, he did see the prince only yesterday. Aha, uh -huh, you must be mistaking me for someone else. I am Olivia Leinheim, a simple traveling bard. I believe your name is Ash, correct? Of class... 8? Huh, <laughs> care to tell me how a wandering bard knows that kind of info? Jokes aside, your trip of a little brother isn't bad. But I think things could get pretty interesting if you took over the family business yourself. Whoa, y you think so? Ash? What's wrong, Schwarzer? I'm just talking to some no-name bard about his family business. <laughs> Sorry to point, but I've already decided to devote my life to the pursuit of love. He would make a great king. Someday, once peace has returned to this land, I plan to live a tranquil life in the countryside with my sexy, sun-kissed lover by my side, of course. Shit, <laughs> gotta admit, that's pretty nice too. I think I like you. Glad we could meet, Mr. Olivert Linehaim. <laughs> it was an honor. 
Oh, but surely you meant to say Olivia, right? Mm, oh boy. Is this conversation safe to be listening to? I feel like I overheard some private information. Yeah, is this the kind of stuff he should be saying in public? Well, it does seem like his highness is concerned, so it's probably fine, right? Sheesh, the brand camp is sure has some real characters in it. But are you okay with simply looking up to them forever? Right now, they're trapped, unable to protect their home. So who's going to be the one to protect Crossbell in their absence? Aww. Is that? Yeah, the recording he left for her this morning. Oh, was that your little scheme? How clever. Honestly, listening to it now is kind of embarrassing. But once she's heard what I have to say, the decision is hers alone. I'm sure she'll do the right thing. Let's not disturb them. Yeah, let's leave. All right, we need to head to Stargazer's Tower. What's the best route to take there? According to Teal's map, the highway to the south. It seems like there's... That's where the forest road that leads to the tower is. Were we to journey by robot bike, it would be a mere hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, let's go. But we're not going to travel there by like that. We're going to... Just move on forward then, like that. All right, what's over here then? Black records. Interesting. Huh. No. No. Report to Rosine. No would be a good time to give Rosine an update. Hello there, Ian. You found some new records? Yeah, I'll send you what I have for you to analyze. We can send the artifacts content contents Very to Rosie. Well. I'll start deciphering them. Leave it to me. You won't have to wait long before for an update. Understood. Thanks. All right. All right. Let's move on then back to where we are supposed to go. There we go. Stargazer's Tower. Here, this is the entrance. Yeah, Stargazer's Tower should be through this forest path. It seems like it has quite the foreboding atmosphere. Haha, <laughs> as they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now friends, let us venture forth and gain. Anyway, we won't be able to turn back from here. You're all ready, right? Yes. Yep, I think I've done everything. All right, let's go. Right. I'll probably just go through the whole tower. And then just save before the boss, because it's going to obviously take longer for those cutscenes. But are you okay with simply looking up to them forever? Right now, they're trapped, unable to protect their home. So who's going to be the one to protect Crossbell in their absence? Come Siri. on. He's always so... I know that already. Then Does get to it. Do you really think I need to hear any of that crap from him? <laughs> Don the jacket and let's go, girl. <laughs> From the sound of it, we're ready to go now. We already have the location, so. Muse, right? On, we wasted enough time here. Let's get going. And on. Ash. Jesus. <laughs> are you two Muse coming too? And Ash? What are you doing here? Got permission from Randolph to tag along. <laughs> I as bet. For me, I asked Instructor Toa to assign me as your support. I would have come too if I were able. Oh, I want you to be in my class too, Jessica. Me too. I love you. Oh, 
If only I was able to fight! Louise and Jessica are one thing, but... <laughs> How long were you two listening? <laughs> they weren't there the first time, I swear. Reed and the others drove through the dark forest road for some time, eventually arriving at an ancient tower nestled in the heart of the forest. So, this is Stargazer's Tower? It dates back to the Middle Ages, but... This fee Jesus Christ. What is this? This strange sensation on the back of my neck. It seems like it's so strong even someone without No. It seems it's so strong even someone without spiritual senses can feel it. Oh my. There's no doubt about it. All the mana and crossbow is being drained to this location through the spirit veins. Indeed, I feel it as well. It radiates a pale blue, perhaps with a touch of scarlet thrown in as well. Your Highness, you can tell? Hmm, both you and your sister have a surprising amount of magical power. Is it because of the ancient blood of the Arnor line? <laughs> that certainly seems to be the case, though I know little of the particulars. So that thing perched on the roof, is that the Aeon from last night, correct? Yeah, probably. Yeah, though it looks different from the gigantic one we fought in Hamel. Seems like it's a new model for the flight-type Aeon that was used to destroy the public's army. I guess it can't really do much without the Septarian powering it. But if it charges up enough mana, then it can get just about as powerful. Alright, O-Class 7? and guess existence, we'll now begin our search of Stargazer's Tower. Our main goal is to reach the Aeon on the roof and put a stop to its supply of mana. Everyone, give it all you got. Understood. Right. Yes. <laughs> and with that, let us go forth and conquer. Yes, we should. Where? Here? Hmm, <laughs> this tower has quite the mysterious atmosphere. I would have liked to come here to visit outside of a crisis. Yeah, there's something alluring about historic places like this. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo for Bibi. Alright, looks good. I'll send it to her later. Or send it to her now. Since, you know, you can. Let's see if Vivi likes what I've taken. So green. Hey Vivi, just want to give you a heads up. I'm sending you a photo. Green sent a landscape picture to Vivi's Arcus. Now, let's see. Oh wow, nice. I'll send you your reward. It should get there by tomorrow at the latest. Hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Thanks, Vivi. All right, let's go in. Enough dawdling. And who's watching me? McBurn? Campanella? Fail. That's my cue, I suppose. Who? What? Crow? That's you, right? I'd prefer to <laughs> not miss a chance to stretch my legs a bit, but... Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Show me just what you can do. Who are you? You sound like my baby, Crow! Oh well. How's Let's... that? There, there, there. Ooh, How's look at you, Mr. There. Sharpshooter. All right.
Oh, please don't be a revolving thing. Please don't be a revolving thing. This tower. But what's that weird light flickering at the top? It's mana in physical form. The Herald Emlins would be at work here. I cannot speak. I'm impressed. It's still active so long after serving its purpose. Yes, well, the alchemists of old weren't once for building anything less than impressive. It made for an apt battlefield between the SSS and the Stalrider during the Civil War. They fought here? Oh yeah, the chief did say that once. Randy told me about it. Duvali led the charge against them until their lord made an appearance. The Steel Maiden, the seventh Anguis of Ouroboros. I've heard similar stories. Fortunately, we're in the clear. Rain, if you want to use your powers here, I'll back you up. But it's up to you if you actually want to. Thanks, Celine. As long as you don't overexert yourself. Alright, loves, let's us fly forward. Let's Wait, I can actually rest here. Rain. What happened, baby? We need to scan, though. There. Oh, wow. Now. An opening! I'm up! Second form, scale! It's down! Well, one's down, at least. It's mine! Leave it to me! Guard break. This How's one. How's that? It's my turn! Analyzing enemy unit. Analysis complete. All right. My turn. Might as well. Now's our chance. And we just now, kill it. Everyone. Good work, everyone. Let's play with Alyssa for a while. Though I do want there. to see the debaucherous there. prince at work. There. Look at that shooting skill. My heart is full of love. <laughs> okay, that does it. <laughs> I'm keeping you in the party like that. Victory is clear. Death blow. Ooh. I'm not gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit there. this guy. It's my turn. Second form. Damn. Now. It's mine. I'm going. Analyzing enemy unit. Analysis complete. Hmm. Leave it to me. There. It's my turn. Hmm. Burning see. flames. Haven't seen this. Oh my. Purple flare. Ooh. And Leave we stop it, it just like that. Hmm. It's down. Attack. It's my turn. Sit. It's down. It's mine. Yes. There. Now. Ring, let's go. Got it. Huh. And done. <laughs> that was great. And I leveled just like up. I remember. Yeah, just like old times. <laughs> I did it. Oh no, not, not, not these things again. It's my turn. Second form, Gale! Now! 
It's mine. Yes. Analyzing enemy unit. I got it. Yeah, let's see, Olivia's. Uh, right. Oh. May you rest in peace. Fire. Okay, yes. I see you. Let's see this though. Dark I haven't blade. seen this. Oh yeah, Please. we have. Now's our chance. I'll see to this. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Second form, Gale. All of them break status. Leave it to me. You won't get away. Molten storm. Now. I'll rush Wait, it just go. to get it done. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Just like I remember. Yeah, just like old times. Yeah, that's how we get the chest. Oh, there's some treasure. Okay, so this is, I guess, going to be pretty straightforward. It seems this will be quite the struggle. Second form. Now! My turn. Light. I'm going. Analyzing it. Yes. Arcus active. It's my turn. Huh? Oh, I've been skipping it. Forgot we haven't faced this monster. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now's our chance. An opening. It's Strength my turn. Speed up. All right. But you know what? This says hi. Get back now. It's mine. Now oh, these two are gonna be dead though. There. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Perfect chance. It still has so much HP. Jeez. Leave it to me. There. Now's our chance. Now, everyone. Leave it to Understood. me. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. Did it kill it? Nope. It's my turn. Burning flames. Now we should kill it. Vorpal flare. Yep. Huh, what a relief. Whoa, that's a lot of EXP. I should fight that more often then in this dungeon. That way I know. Oh. That's a nice looking treasure chest. Black Bell. Is this the dead end? Yes. All right, perfect. Ooh, all the sepif and you material. Nice. Nothing breakable? Nope. And here, there, a lot of breakables, or two. That's it. We got four step of mass. Finally, some daylight. Hm. Is the camp that way? My heart is full of I love. I wonder how Class Seven is doing. We've placed our trust in them. They'll be fine. A lovely sentiment from one Class Seven's heart to another. Mm-hmm. Jeez, it's gonna keep going up. This is not easy. Oh, we're pretty high up at this point. Sure, but we still have a ways to the top. It'd be faster without all these monsters. What was that armored thing? A type of magic knight, maybe? 
Hmm. Similar in nature, but no. It was most likely created from alchemy. Erebonius' interpretation of magic is very different from here. So different, in fact, that the magic knights and cryptids from the Empire shouldn't even be seen in Crossbell. But that doesn't make any sense. Why do we see three magic knights in the geo front? And my students fought often in Surtur cryptid just yesterday. The Scarlet Perloma grass has a similar spiritual power to Infernal Castle, doesn't it? Hmm, it surely can't be a coincidence. I agree. It's all so eerily like the relationship between Erebonia and Crossbell. In what way? Hmm? Sorry, I was being vague. Crossbell is about to be completely swallowed up by the Empire. It's written clear as the Eight Metropolis plan. It's just interesting how the same thing is happening in the world of mana. Hmm. I don't want to imagine such a thing. Uh, uh, it was just a random thought. Yet the comparison tickles the mind. You must have some thoughts on it, Emma. No, I can't say I've ever considered it before. But this could explain why Vita came to Crossbell. If I recall correctly, Blue Peroma grass started blooming after Crossbell declared its independence. It was only a year and a half after being annexed that the Scarlet Peroma grass had been spotted. There must be something to that. Could it be? No, that's preposterous. Well, intrigues and as it is, doesn't change the fo our focus here. Right, let's head to the rooftop. It seems like it keeps going. Uh, proceed with caution. We are. Unless there's another one. I see a powerful Fire. enemy. A strong enemy. Be careful. Is this the? Th oh, come on, it's another one. Get back! It's down. It's mine! I'm going! Analyzing enemy... Yes! Well, let's not have enough for anything. Huh. Leave it to me! Arcus active! It's my turn! Fire is not that effective. Holy's not that effective either. Wind is not that very effective. I don't have anything that just hits them. I have to huh? do it. Let's go. Well, good thing Green has this. Goodbye, everyone. Damn! My turn. Or not. Never mind. I'll restore you. <laughs> I shall prepare a Come on, at least kill some. There. All right. It's my turn. Tower. Oh, there's a thingy <laughs> behind it. That was great. I didn't just even see like that. Oh, yeah, my God. just like Look old times. That. All right, got it. Jeez. How's that? There we go. Now we can get the chest. This 
This tower is going to be pretty hard. Onion seeds. All right. What's here? Oh, there's some treasure. A luck. More outdoor staircases. How's that? <laughs> the view is nice. Were our circumstances not so dire, I may be inspired to burst into song at the sight. The waves of mana are getting stronger. Mana. Not yep. much longer till we reach the rooftop. Let's go. Oh, this is gonna be different. All right, down I get a chest. That's like a library. Is this some sort of library? All these books are so old. I wouldn't be surprised if they're from the Dark Ages. Could they be spell books belonging to the cult here in Crossbell? They could be. With all their behind the scenes corruption, they need an archive for their wickedness somewhere. Hmm. But of course, there was a large bell similar to the one in Central Square at this tower's top rooftop. It was used during their ritual and moved to her after the annexation. That is likely this did belong to the cult. Very interesting. Well, this is interesting, though. There's a top floor. Let's hurry on, then. More healing items. There. Right. Hit the switch. That way I know when the boss is coming. More cutscenes. <sighs> Last one, I think. Right, this should take us to the roof. I heard from the Bracer Guild of a battle taking place here a year and a half ago. One between the Swift and the SSS. Yeah, the SS. Oh, and Duvali. Yeah. Really? Oh. I did hear about the Slendy Tower. That can't be right. We fought Duvali around the same time at Arx Fort. <laughs> well, she was going back and forth between count countries for her battles. Poor girls must have been exhausted. Yeah. I don't know how she managed it, really. That's too much for any one person to do. I suppose that nothing, nothing is too much when you worship your lord the way she does. All right, let's go forward. All right, let's get going. Of course, I had a meant to dis. What? Oh, great! I wasn't prepared for this. It's ugh, it's one of the little things we've been finding about huge. What's this? What is this? A very powerful golem, quite possibly an elder. Oh joy! No break for us then. Class 7, this shall be our last rehearsal before the grand finale, so stay sharp. We'll pay through. Right, let's go! This one's strong, be careful! Oh, it has all those too? <laughs> I'm go. sorry, Oliver, but I'm gonna have to trade you. Sigma Operation. Swiftly! Sigma Operation! It's my turn! Second form, Gale! Oh no. <gasps> Not in my I didn't watch. have time to. <sighs> Leave it to me. Yeah. Yeesh. Well, not healing gift. Well, yeah, Light. healing gift. Shine over us all! I'm up. How long are they knocked out for? I don't know. Jeez. Second form, Gale. My turn. Heavenly gift. Light. Green. Uh. I better take it then. Uh. Eesh. Alright, they both stood up. Alyssa, here you go. Yeah. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. We need to kill the little ones too first. But I need to battle scope the big one. Yeah. One of yes. those. Arcus activate. <laughs> now it's Where's my the heavenly turn. gift. Um, sorry, I'm swapping you out for Machias. I leave it to you. Leave it to me. I kind of need the breaker here, the mail breaker. Yep. Break really through. I'm up. They're so tanky. Crimson Slash! It's still doing nothing to them. Leave it to me. Heavenly gift. Light. Shine over us all. CP lost. What? Oh, okay. I thought it just completely interrupted my my blade. Call Oh, it did. Water. Now. It did interrupt it. Wow, that's uh that's something else. Seven I should have let it. Fallen leaves. Not on my watch. Thanks. Thank you, Alyssa. Sweetheart, like always. Not in my watch. Oh. I'll treat you immediately. I appreciate it. Yeah, I have to do something. So, uh, yeah, so they don't get my the death. Blade. I don't want them to have death blow. There. She can have death blow. That's fine. This will help. <laughs> Thank you. My turn. Yeah, this ain't easy. Huh. I'm going. Huh. Leave it to me. Break through. There we go. Here. That's what I needed. Attack. Of course, it's gonna. Recover Not CP up watch. when it doesn't need <laughs> CP up. There. <gasps> oh no! I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. I saw only Reen and. Leave it to me. Out. I need to heal. Break through. I'm going. All right, serene blessing. Yeah, I need to heal them Healing with that. Thanks. I appreciate it. Again. Leave it. Ha! Might as well. There we go. Uh -huh. Now we can do it. Sigma operation. Oh no, we have break damage. So, hmm. Swiftly, Sigma operation. Let's go. Yep. Crimson slash. It's down. It's mine. My turn. Go up in flames? Fire! Now! An opening! It's my I turn. I have to hit it hard as much as I can. Crimson Slash! It's down! It's mine! What? No, Leave it to I, me! Mm, come on, man. I did it. Break I had through. chosen it. 
Crimson Slash! My turn. Go up in flames? Fire! Now! An opening! Yes! Burning flames. Let's see how much does this do to the break dodge. Break dodge. Oh wow, that's quite a bit. It's my turn. This is impede, right? Crimson slash. And that should be over, right? Yep. All right. Nice work. So annoying. Nice work. Phew, that wasn't so bad. It's not like you say, but we don't have time to stand around. We need to stop that Aeon. I'm grateful to have been able to lean on you for, on, for this. Won't be much longer. Not to worry, we're here with you all the way. We'll show you what we're made of. I need to find the thing. Take this. Okay. Take this. Yeah, I forgot that I'm you going. did that. Let's go. Yes. Right, anything breakable here? No. All right. Where's the thingy? Can't be. I can't be going for the fight right now, right? What about the save thingy? I mean, heal thingy? Come on. Ah, so we made it to the rooftop. Rain. Yeah, let's go, everyone. Okay. Where is it? Oh, here it is. All right. There, there. it is. Yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna heal up. But I am going to leave this episode here. Oh my lord, Alyssa. Whew. Edio says, blessed you, girl. Whew. Hi, girl. All right. So staring at this beauty, we're going to leave this here. I know I want to go up there now, but then the video is going to be way too long. And I think this video is, well, it's one hour and 45 right now. So I'm going to try and cut it to like me something. Sorry again for the long videos, it's just finding a good stopping point. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying these videos like I am, please hit a like and share, that always helps out. Click that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. Subscribe to become part of Moonlight Army today. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys, bye bye